video we already seen the capacitor bank basic circuit diagrams and uh, it's working now in this video we are going to see uh, power factor meter connections how it's work those are things we are going to see in this video let's see this is for simple power factor circuit diagram already we seen this is for incoming uh, this is for 5 kvr and 10 kvr two capacitor on here this is a step one step two this is for conductor 1, conductor 2, this is for fuses, already we seen this one, so not required for C for all the things. Now we are going to see power factor meter connection. What is this? Power factor, power factor meter connection, meter, okay, this is for power factor meter. In this power factor meter having a two terminal, lot of terminal, first two terminal we take this one is S1 and S2 this is for CT terminal of MDB CT terminal of MDB this CT will read uh, power factor from the MDB incoming this will be provided in MDB so that place to two wire are we take in current to him here take a, some reference from the red face or any of the faces and then Next, I have having a axillary supply phase and neutral, or any of the axillary supply as per the meter axillary supply. Then, next two terminals reference voltage V1 and V2 reference voltage, and then this is for common. Then, step one, step two, step three. Then, this may the Based on the power factor meter, how many steps of the the based on that one here mentioned in step one, step two. So we now here connect to some space voltage. Phase voltage. We take our our phase voltage. Take some neutral on neutral on axillary supply and phase voltage and here take this one. We are already separated for common voltage also. Now uh, K1, K2 and K3. This is for steps 1, step 2, step 3. Now we are going to take uh, 3 steps. In here already we are connected for neutral and A2. Now take A1 to connect step 1. And then mean A1 to connect step 2. Now uh, this power factor meter going to connected step 1 step 2 as per the power factor lagging and leading these other things will be take information from the CT coil and then this power factor meter send the information to connector switch down or switch off these other things will be happen in power factor meter this is for connection of power factor meter thank you guys